Hey guys, it's Misty with My Paper Cuts, and I am back on tonight to share the second of my finished sets of cards. Like I mentioned in my last video, I was inspired by the list of projects for the Secret Santa collaboration that Carrie is doing, and I am semi-co-hosting and making a giveaway for. Um, I just decided since I was breaking out my stuff and I started making cards that I would just pick a bunch of collections and make cards in an assembly line style and see how much I could finish. So this is the second collection that I'm going to share with you guys that I'm using. It is from a Crafter's Companion. It's called Enchanted Christmas. It is all blues and purples and pinks and greens. Very deep, dark, rich colors wintry scenes, lots of snow and snowflakes. I just, I really do like this collection. So again, what I did was I decided to pick four sheets from this and I did four sets of six cards. So each card you see, I will have made another one that is um, identical or five other ones that are identical so I have 24 cards that I made with this collection so I'm gonna go ahead and set that out of the way so the first card and again I brought out some of the stuff I thought you guys might ask about just to try to help a little bit um, so a lot of these I, I actually got the ultimate Christmas box from HSN for um, crafters companion this was not in there but it was a three-tier box with a bunch of different stuff, and I pretty much have only used the stamps and dies so far. I haven't used any of the other materials, but I really fell in love with the dies, so I've been using the heck out of them. But for, um, I'll just go ahead and share the first card in here. So this card uses one of the, the pink um, wintry backgrounds, and so I used a pink shimmer paper, and just to tie in the pink, I did ink the edges of the white foam that I put popped up that on and this deer is from one of the dies in the in the box let's see oh it's from this set right here so this is one of the die sets and then I also use the tree so um here's the deer and the tree and I believe that's yeah that's all I used out of this one I used a different tree from another die set that I have which is this one. I use this tree right here. And I cut those trees out with this wood paper that I had picked up at Tuesday morning forever ago. I bought several packages of this because I love wood grain. Some of it is adhesive, some of it is just really thin paper. So I die cut the trees out of it and I added a little bit of pink marker to it because when they were just the naked wood, they stood out way too much. So to tie it into all the pink, I just threw a little bit of pink marker on there. I splattered them with some white acrylic paint. And then I just die cut a fancy shape with a simple stamp right there in pink. And then the inside of this one, I used this stamp, which is also from Tuesday morning. It's by Momenta. I actually really love this stamp. So, and I stamped it again in the pink at the bottom. And I used that a couple times. Um, in these cards because it just went obviously with the theme of the paper and I really like to have that at the bottom of the inside so so that was my first card and then my second card let me see I'm trying to get all so I used this stamp again and I used this die set again I used a, I used this tree and this tree and this tree and then from the crafters companion I used this die right here that says happy holidays and this is the card that i came up with so what i did was i took the green paper that was all trees and i die cut that with a circle it's just a bunch of circles it's a background die and um i layered it over the top of some um with uh with some score tape and i threw some clear glitter in there so i wanted it to have the shine but i didn't want it to be white because I wanted it to be very subtle in the background. I was kind of going for more of a masculine feel on this card. So that's the reason why I used the clear glitter in the background, but I just ran the glitter over the top to fill in the holes because with that score tape on the back, it just grabbed that glitter for me. But the holes give it kind of a cool texture. 
And then the sentiment is cut out of several layers of cardstock. And then it's also cut out of a matte gold mirror paper. And so just layered up and then glued down. And then the trees here, I cut three of each. And the stubby frilly tree here was cut out of a really pretty dark green shimmer paper. And then obviously the fatter tree was cut out of um, dark green mirror paper. And then I cut a bunch of the long skinny tree there. I cut those out of vellum. So, and so they're just kind of tacked down. But, and I just put them on at different heights and chopped off the bottom once they were lined up. And then on the inside of this one, it just has a nice inside sentiment. And then again, I stamped that tree line in a dark green to tie into the front. So that was the second card. And then the third card, I really love this one. It's not my favorite one of the set, but so this one here, I used the blue paper. And then in the Crafter's Companion, kit there was also this really cool village here and I cut that out of some silver glimmer paper and I put it over a snowy hillside and then the joy to the world is from here and that what I did was I cut it out in white and layered it up on a bunch of layers of uh, cardstock again and then I just kind of did an ombre effect with blue for the joy in the world and um, I left the two and then the just white, but I really just wanted to, um, I was feeling kind of sentimental this day and I really wanted to bring out the word joy in the world because I feel like these are two things we really need to focus on this Christmas is, you know, the whole world, not just ourselves. Um, and then of course we have the all important star there and that is also from the Crafter's Companion set. It has these three nice big ones here. Oh, and that little center also came from right here. So there's the joy to the world with the card. And then on the inside, I just stamped some random snowflakes in the different blues. And I stamped a nice little message. So that is the third card there. And then the fourth one is actually my favorite. For this one, I used this paper right here. This pretty green paper. I used this background stamp. This die and this die so here is the card that i came up with for the last one and so i took the paper and i stamped this background stamp in versafine ink and i hit it with this um if you guys watched me last year you know this i love this embossing powder it's called sparkle puff it's really old it's from stampendous i know that a lot of other companies do make a puff embossing powder that doesn't have sparkle and I do have one and I do prefer that, but I really wanted some glitter on here. So I went for it and I kind of, it's really messy. Whenever I hit it with the heat gun, glitter goes flying, but <laughs> it's worth it for the effect. So I don't know if you could see that background. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see all that texture. It's really, and it doesn't really come off. It's not like that snow pen or the, the puff paint. It just has raised texture and then it does have some shimmer to it. And then I cut the die here. I cut that out of some real, this is Flurry 2, I believe. Yeah, Flurry 2. So I cut that out of um, uh, two or three, I think it's just two layers of heavyweight white cardstock. And then this top layer is Tonic Mirror Card. And this is going to glare, guys. Sorry, but it's the Water Sprite. It's the light green uh, holographic mirror card stock from tonic I love those card stocks and so the top layer is that and then this Merry Christmas is I couldn't find the set I just had it here I must have shoved it somewhere but it's just one again one of those little um, either Sizzix or I think it's a Sizzix set but it's just a simple little Merry Christmas there and then I did this die here along the edge just for just kind of a funky corner. I thought it was looking a little bit too simple for me. And at the bottom here, I stamped a little horse-drawn sleigh in gray Momenta ink. And then on the inside, I stamped the large sentiment that I thought fit. So that is actually my favorite card of the bunch. So there's my next four cards. And again, like I said, there's six of each. So that is 24 more cards for my Christmas stash. 
from The Enchanted Christmas by Crafter's Companion. All right, I'll see you guys soon with another set. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.